Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multiplying and dividing positive and negatives, and we want to find each quotient. So, if I was given this quotient, 306 divided by 18. And this one's going to be tricky, okay? So, our first step, I'm going to rewrite it as a fraction, because I prefer to see it as fractions. That's my choice. Some people don't. That's what I prefer. Hmm. Annoying. 306, let's, let's start breaking that down. What numbers, because right now I'm looking at it, I don't have a clue. 306, breaking down. All right, what goes into it? Well, I know three at least goes into 306, right? Three goes into 300 100 times, right? And three goes into six, two times, so 102, okay? So three, go, uh, three times 102 is 106, We're good to go. Got it right there. So 102, can I break that down? Well, that's an even number. That's 2, right? So 2 and 51. 51 I've dealt with a few times now, right? 3 goes into 51. 3 goes into 51 17 times, okay? So now we have 3 times 2 times 3 times 17, okay? Okay, so how can we, uh, what can we get here? Well, the denominator I can break down. 18 I can break down pretty easily. That's um, 18, that's what? Uh, 18, let's do it here. 18, that's 2 times 9. And 9 is 3 times 3. So now we have 2 times 3 times 3 in the denominator. The numerator is this prime factorization, 2 times 3 times 3 times 17, right? I kind of rearranged it, but uh, 2 times 3 times 3 times 17, the numerator, which is 306, and 2 times 3 times 3 down here, which is 18. 2's cancel, 3's cancel, and we're left with 17, which is our final answer. So again, let's recap. We start with 306 divided by 18. I rewrote that as a fraction because I like to see it that way. 306, I had no clue, so I started just breaking it down prime factorization. 3 goes into 306 uh, uh, 102 times. 2 goes into 102 51 times. And 3 times 17 is 51. And now we're done and we're, we don't have the prime number. So we write it out here in the numerator. 2 times 3 times 3 times 17. All prime numbers, prime factorization. Now we have 2 times 3 times 3. Uh, because 18, 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, so I wrote that in the denominator, right? 2 times 3 times 3 is equal to 18. So, now, we can cancel out the 2s, cancel out the 3s, and we're left with 17 in the numerator, and 17 over 1 is just 17, our final answer.